Wonderful. Wonderful. Copenhagen. <laughs> well, that act certainly suited Gonzo. It did? Yep, suited him right down to the ground. <laughs> well, I didn't think I'd live to see it, but for once they've given us something other than second-rate entertainment. What's that? Third-rate entertainment. <laughs> you know, they can improve the whole show if they just change the ending. How? Oh. Put it closer to the beginning. <laughs> There's something about him reminds me of me when I was young. What is it? Well, mainly his age. Oh, <laughs> terrific. I love her. Well, that little bundle of talent's the only thing that'll keep this show going. Shall we shoot her now before she ruins everything? Oh. <laughs> that was an amazing mess of mediocre mediocrity. You can say that again. Wanna bet? <laughs> I wonder how they do that. Do what? <laughs> I don't believe that. I'm not supposed to be here either, right? I thought for once the show really caught fire. <laughs> I thought it burned itself out, same as always. Weird. Why did they want the igloo? What? Why did they want the igloo? Well, maybe someone broke their egg. <laughs> you know, usually operetta music puts me right to sleep. You too, huh? <laughs> what are we waiting for? For it to get tacky. Well, another first on this show. How's that? Well, it's the first time we've had to wait for it to get tacky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that must be the glue, all right. Well, what glue is that? The one they mend the egg with. <laughs> uh, that must be the glue, all right. Well, what glue is that? The one they mend the egg with. <laughs> Good night. So long. Oh, no. How'd you like that? I don't know. I'll ask the avocado. <laughs> well, what'd you think? Ooh, loved it, loved it, loved it. <laughs> That's amazing. No, it's not. He's been a Pearl Bailey fan for years. <laughs> <laughs> Poor fellow, lost his nose. Mm, how will he smell without it? Same as always. Terrible. <laughs> Ooh, terrific, terrific, wonderful. Uh, say, is your friend the avocado here some kind of professional critic? Nah, he's just unemployed. You should go to work. Try to make something of yourself. Ooh, like what? Guacamole. <laughs> I didn't like it. What do you avocado think? It's the pits. <laughs> 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 Am I crazy or was that good? You're crazy. <laughs> I thought so. Boy, that number was something else. You mean it was good? No, it was something else. <laughs> <laughs> I liked that last number. What did you like about it? It was the last number. Oh. <laughs> Where do you suppose he got the name Alice? Oh, it's a family name. Mm. He was named after a maiden uncle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, what did you think of that? Out of sight. You mean you liked it? No, it was out of sight. I had my eyes closed. Oh. <laughs> so that was Alice Cooper. You should see his sister, James Fenimore. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I bought a round-trip ticket. To where? To here, stupid. You know, this place is cleaner than the theater. Hmm, true. Seats are more comfortable, too. Yeah. Yeah, if only the entertainment lives down to my expectations. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the rhyming song, huh? They're really getting desperate. Hmm, desperation's a good sign. Soon they may panic and run away. <laughs> <laughs> well, what'd you think? Bit shaky. Greek music, very appropriate for the pigs. Uh, the pigs are from Greece? The pigs are greasy. Oh, <laughs> finally, we've seen them do a good show. Good. Can we please stop coming now? No. <laughs> well, there goes Detente. Where? Never mind. Did you like that number? Pick up. My hearing aid's busted. Did you like that number? I liked what I heard. What did you hear? Did you like that number? Bye. <laughs> Is your hearing aid fixed? No. Then how do you know what I'm saying? I don't. Oh. Hey, if you guys let me hide here, I'll give you tickets to next week's show. <whistles> I've seen wars started over less than that. Wrong. There's nothing less than that. <laughs> Have you ever thought there must be life after death? Every time I leave this theater. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was different. Did you like it? No. 
Then it wasn't different. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? It's called the medium sketch. The medium sketch? Yeah, it wasn't rare, and it certainly wasn't well done. <laughs> well, the chef's done it again. Done what? Nothing. Oh! <laughs> Any luck? No, nope, I checked all the doors. They got us locked in. <laughs> well, shall we leave? Why should we leave now? The worst part's over. <laughs> well, I'll say this for them. What's that? They don't show favoritism. They offend everyone. <laughs> You know, if I had a voice like Helen Reddy, I'd never be on The Muppet Show. Right. If you had a voice like Helen Reddy, you'd be in a sideshow. <laughs> <laughs> this is our thought. What's that? After this show, nothing hurts. <laughs> that banana boat's a wonderful number. Yeah, and look what they did to it. <laughs> I have a good mind to go home. You had a good mind, you wouldn't be here in the first place. <laughs> I think that number raises a pertinent question. What's that? Why did they do it? How <laughs> <laughs> did they do that? Do what? <laughs> you know, I really like that. Yep, yeah, me too. Are we in the right theater? <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This evening, I will perform a feat of lunatic daring. <laughs> Before your very eyes, I will ride this motorcycle up this ramp and jump directly into that box, landing safely between those two elderly gentlemen. What? Oh, I can assure you, you'll be in no danger. You're right. We'll be in Chicago. <laughs> For their own safety, uh, while they were dozing, I took the precaution of chaining them to their chairs. What? <laughs> On my mark. Get set. Go. Hooray! Bravo! Wonderful! On for the second time this evening, the great Gonzo will attempt a motorcycle jump off of this stage into that box up there, landing safely between those two elderly gentlemen. We're not afraid. We know Gonzo. If at first you don't succeed, fail, fail again. <laughs> And so here he is now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm ready, Kermit. Yeah, I'm introducing you. Introduce fast. I'm really ready. Okay, ladies ready. and gentlemen, the great Gonzo. <laughs> there, that was easy, wasn't it? <laughs> you know, this show is beginning to roll. So's the motorbike. <laughs> Where is the land of the rising sun? I don't know. I never get up that early. Terrific! <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's not clever. Anyone can drop their pants. I didn't know you were Lithuanian. <laughs> what was that? That was very strange. It was very weird. It was peculiar. It was kind of amusing. Yes, it was rather funny. It was incredibly funny. I loved it. Hilarious! <laughs> Wonderful! <laughs> Encore! On back to... Well, that number shows what a great actress Leslie Uggams is. Actress? She wasn't acting, she was singing. Yes, but she looked like she enjoyed it. That's acting. Oh. <laughs> what do you suppose they call that? A novelty act? I don't know, but it wasn't too bad. Well, that's a novelty. <laughs> that reminds me, this show has always reminded me of a sardine. Why? It's a little fishy. <laughs> <laughs> Have we ever said that this show is for the birds? Yes, and we'll keep saying it till it gets a laugh. <laughs> is that your kid? Of course not. I'm just babysitting. This is my grandson. Well, there is a resemblance. Yeah, but I won't be bought in two flicks forever. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't think this show is suitable for children. I don't think this show is suitable for anybody. <laughs> <laughs> The hills are alive. With the sound of music. <laughs> Is he a bouncing baby boy? I don't know, but we're high enough up to find out. <laughs> hey, are you speaking Hawaiian? No, I bit my tongue. Well, I always 
always heard that music can soothe the savage beast. Now I believe it. Yeah, good thing the lion learned to sing. Stallone would have killed him. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think? Shocking. <laughs> yes, but was it funny? Of course not. That'd really be shocking. <laughs> <laughs> well, they say all good things come to an end. What's that got to do with this show? <laughs> the Pilgrim Fathers were against show business. They were against entertainment. This doesn't count. <laughs> Arthur, Arthur! Don't you mean author, author? His name's Arthur, Arthur Miller. No, 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 it's Roger Miller. Oh, Roger, Roger! Roger. <laughs> These chickens sure make for a different show. Yeah, but it'll all add up to the same old turkey. <laughs> I bet you were expecting chickens. Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> woof, woof, woof. Uh, how'd you like that song by those prairie dogs? Well, there's a number I could go for. <laughs> go for prairie dogs. <laughs> that Roy Rogers is one good singer. Yeah, but if he does any of those rope tricks, I'm leaving. <laughs> Let's put this show out of its misery. <laughs> okay, partner. I want to see you dance. Oh. Now dance! Oh. Oh. Dance! Dance! <laughs> Boy, that, that's beautiful. Do you think I could dance like that? Well, of course. Oh! Oh! My oh. foot! Oh! oh. No, boo! Boo! Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> well, I've seen a lot of versions of Robin Hood, but none to match this one. How's that? The others were all good. <laughs> mm. What'd you think of Miss Piggy's outfit? I think she ought to kick the habit. <laughs> <laughs> That's an old joke. So are you. <laughs> The legend of Robin Hood will never die. No, but it sure got wounded pretty bad tonight. <laughs> <laughs> me, Waldorf, you, Statler. <laughs> no, you, Waldorf, me, sick. <laughs> he says it went terrific, but I know how he really feels. How's that? About so high. <laughs> well, let's go while the going's good. Well, I'm glad something's good tonight. <laughs> Hey, any sign of Statler and Waldorf? No, it looks like they split for good. Maybe they didn't like the acoustics. Why, can't you hear what's being said on stage? Every word. <laughs> what are you doing, Scooter? Oh, looking for Statler and Waldorf. They're missing. Hey. Hey, there they are. Yeah. Well, I tell you, it's almost as bad out here as it is inside. Yes. <laughs> Either way, we're sitting around looking at garbage. <laughs> Still, I'd rather be here for this show. Yeah, yeah, the Muppets are always about the same, but this week's guest star, yeah. who? What's his face, Kay? Yeah, who? I tell you, he is the worst performer on earth. <laughs> no, you can't be sorry. Well, I am so. No, he's not the worst performer on earth. Well, then who is? Clive Kowinga, the singing civil servant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. He is pretty bad. What an act. He sings the whole pest control code in the key of F. Mm. Then he sings it again because he has to do everything in duplicate. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, oh. But what's his face, Kay, is a little worse. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. Couldn't cross the street to see that guy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, Danny, how's everything? I, I, I think I need a little cheering up. Oh, you should have been inside. Some guy named Clive Coenga was knocking him dead. <laughs> Every show, Stadler and Waldorf sit up here. Show after show after show. Now I see why. You see why they come? No, I see why they left. Oh, oh wow. Look, there's a bag full of fruits and vegetables up here. Hmm. Perchance Statler and Waldorf were thinking of throwing a party. Well, this much food won't go very far. Well, they only wanted to throw it as far as the stage. Oh, for sure. Uh, I've got to go and feed the parking meter, Scooter, and I'll be back in just a few minutes. Huh? Well, I wonder if that K has done his act yet. Well, thank goodness we're not there to know. Imagine a tuned clam player. Mm, I hate that Manny K. Mm. <laughs> Manny K? 
Oh, why, it's Danny Kay. Well, what? Sure. You're one of our favorites. Oh, better than the tune clam player? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. Now I wish we had seen the show. Oh, on stage for the closing, Mr. K. I'll be right with you. Don't be late. There was something thrilling about being in the show tonight. Yep. Not having to watch it. <laughs> <laughs>